Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Edson Barboza versus Lerone Murphy. Edson Barboza, 24 wins, 11 losses, 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights, 1 in his last 2 fights, plus 125 underdog, 38 years old, 5'11, with a 75 inch reach. Fighting Lerone Murphy, who's 13 0 and 1, minus 150 favorite, 32 years old, 5'9, with a 73 and a half inch reach, 1 and a half inch reach advantage for Edson Barboza, 2 inches in height as well. Edson Barboza has so much experience. He's fought a lot of good guys. Now, obviously, that comes with wear and tear. Now, we've seen Barboza have a hard time with decent strikers. Like, uh, Giga Chikadze was able to finish him in the third round. Um, that, that was his last time he was finished by uh, uh, a decent striker, which is Giga, which I do think he's a bit overrated as well. Uh, lost to Danny Gay by split, which a lot of people thought... Edson Barboza won that matchup. Lost to Justin Gaethje. My kitty just jumped on my desk. Lost to Justin Gaethje. And now she's walking over here. Hello, kitty. Hello. Hello, kitty. How you doing, kitty? Hi, kitty. Uh, it lost to Kevin Lee by Dr. Stoppage. A cut. Justin Gaethje was able to, you know, just bum rush Edson Barboza and get the win that way. Um... It's it's a little bit of a challenging fight just because I think Edson has more tools than uh, um, Leroy Murphy does. I also think Edson Barboza has the takedown defense to stop uh, Leroy uh, attempting takedowns. I don't think Leroy Murphy is the type of wrestler like Khabib or Bryce Mitchell, so I think that stops that. How does he do with the striking? I. I think decent until he doesn't. I still think this is a better matchup than people are saying for Edson Barboza. Big fan of Laurel Murphy. I think he's done a lot of good things so far in the UFC. He's been a lot of fun to watch. But Edson Barboza, 14 finishes, 13 uh, TKO or KOs. Does have 6 in the first round, 3 in the second, and 4 finishes in the third round. This is a 5-round fight. I do not think it goes 5 rounds. The latest it goes is probably 3. Um... And look for Edson Barboza to test that a little bit. It might go to four um, just because Edson might want to test it. But also, Laurel Murphy has started slow in his career before. And look for Edson to exploit that. Seven finishes by TKO or KO. Also has six decision wins. I, I just think, obviously, Edson has fought better opponents. But he also has 35 fights. This is his 36th fight. Edson Barboza has a lot of, has had a lot of fights in the UFC. He's 18-11 in the UFC. He's been finished six times, but he also has nine finishes as well. Has one submission, which was da 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 da. da. Oh boy! In the UFC, he has a finish, a a, a submission finish. I'm not seeing it. He has one sub in the UFC. Where is this sub at? A sub by Tony. Renegade choke by Cowboy. Um, I do not see this submission win by Edson Barboza. Maybe it's a uh, tap out to strikes. That was by, uh, uh, what's his freaking name? It was by Lucas Martins. Maybe that's what it was that he tapped out to that, but I, I guess sure. Um, and either way, I think Edson Barboza does good in this matchup. I think if you look at it um, as like a stats point of view or whatever, I don't know if you go by stats, but strikes landed per minute is four point one eight, three point six five accuracy is forty five percent to fifty. Strikes absorbed per minute is four point three four to two point four zero. Defense is fifty seven to fifty six. Um, take down defense is 46 to the 46 percent accuracy for Laurel Murphy. Uh, Edson Barboza has better takedown accuracy than Laurel Murphy, and Edson's not a takedown guy. So I like Edson Barboza unless Laurel can get him out of there early because Edson both guys start slower. Uh, but unless Murphy can get Edson out of there early or Edson just gets caught by a very nice punch by Laurel, I see Edson Barboza. You know, being well-rounded, putting a uh, nice pace on the run that Edson can keep up with. 
I don't necessarily know if he can get a finish on Murphy. Well, he definitely can finish him. But if he will, I'm not for sure. I think Edson wins this matchup. I think that speed, that those combinations, the durability of Edson's going to be an issue for uh, Laurel Murphy. And I think we still see another classic Edson Barboza win. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.